Science 5 Quarter 3 Week 4 Milk Base Let's learn about Open and Close Circuit Hello kids, it's me, Teacher Prell. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frel TV. Welcome back kids! For today's lesson in Science 5, we will discuss about open and closed circuit. Our most essential learning competencies is Infer the conditions necessary to make a bulb light up. In the previous lesson, you have learned how light interacts with different materials. You also learned that topics is the study of refraction which refers to the bending of light as it passes through different materials. Reflection, which refers to the bouncing back of light when it hits an object. Absorption, that refers to a material taking in of light and not reflecting it back. And transmission, that refers to the passing of light through some materials. This time, you will learn the conditions necessary to make a bulb light. Look around your house. How many appliances do you see? How many are currently plugged into your wall outlets? Most households have several devices that make use of electricity. The number of appliances that you have at home shows how important electricity is in our every lives. How does electricity flow to your appliances? Two conditions must be met in order for electricity to flow. First, there must be source of electricity. Second, there must be a complete path for the electricity to flow through. Look at the illustrations carefully. The picture above shows an electrical circuit which has four parts. The four parts are a source, which is the battery, wires, switch, and then light bulb. What is battery? Battery is the source of electrical energy. What are wires? Wires connects the light bulb to the battery. What is switch? Switch is used to open and close the circuit. And what is light bulb? Light bulb helps detect the flowing of current through the circuit by lighting up. Look at the picture in setup A. This is open circuit. In setup A, there is a gap or no complete path from one end of the circuit to the other end. For this reason, electricity does not flow. And then, look at setup B. It is a closed circuit. In setup B, a wire is attached to the negative end of the battery, while the other wire is attached to the positive end. Both wires are attached to the bulb. Such a circuit is called a closed circuit. A closed circuit makes the bulb light up because the path of electricity is complete, allowing electricity to flow through it. The switches that you see at home are electrical components that can make the circuits of the lights in your homes open or close. So to turn on the lights, you have to close the circuit by pushing the switch on. To turn off the lights, you have to open the circuit again by pushing the switch off. The activity that you are going to perform will clearly explain the conditions necessary to make a bulb light up. And now, let us proceed to our learning task, learning task 1. 
Prepare the materials listed below. If not available, you may use other materials at home to perform the activity. You may ask the help of your parents or guardians or any adult members of the family if needed. So the title of our activity is Construct Your Own Circuit. Here are the materials. 1. 1 1.5 Battery or any battery available at home, small bulb, and copper wire. For the procedures, note, handle the materials with care, especially the bulb. First, connect the materials as shown in the diagram above. Observe what happens. And second, remove the switch connection. Observe what happens. And now, Answer the following questions. In your setup, the switch and the wires connect the light bulb to the battery. First question, what happened to bulb after you connect the switch to the wire? Why? And for the second question, what happened to the bulb after you detached the switch from the wire? And why? For learning task 2, Label the parts of the electric circuit. Number 1. What figure is shown in the picture? Correct! It is a bulb. Number 2. What figure is shown in the picture? Very good! It is a switch. Number 3. What figure is shown in the picture? Very good! These are wires. And number four, what figure is shown in the picture? Very good! It is a battery. For learning task 3, label the following circuit with open circuit or closed circuit. Number one, study the picture. Is it open or closed circuit? What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is closed circuit. Number two, what do you think of this picture? Is it open or closed circuit? Very good! This picture is an open circuit. Number three, what do you think of this picture? Is it open or closed circuit? Very good! This is a closed circuit. Number 4. What do you think of this picture? Is it open or closed circuit? Very good! This is a closed circuit. And number 5. What do you think of this picture? Is it open or closed circuit? Very good! It is an open circuit. For learning task 4, draw an example of open and closed circuit. Consider the rubric below in doing the task. Let's read the description. Points 5. The drawing represents a clear understanding of the concept. Points 4. The drawing represents a somewhat clear understanding of the concept. Points 3. The drawing represents a quite clear understanding of the concept. Points 2. The drawing does not represent the concepts learned. And point 1. The drawing lacks detail. So I will show you an example of the drawing of an open circuit and a closed circuit. So this is an open circuit. And this is a closed circuit. Take note, in open circuit, there is a gap or no complete path from one end of the circuit to the other end. For a closed circuit, it makes the bulb light up because the path of electricity is complete. So a route in which an electrical current can flow around. And for the last activity, read each item carefully. Choose the letter of the answer. Number 1. It is the source of electrical energy. A. Battery B. Switch C. Wire 
D. Bulb. What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter A. Battery. Number 2. It is a circuit where electricity cannot flow. A. Open circuit. B. Closed circuit. C. Battery. D. Switch. What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter A. Open circuit. Number 3. It connects the light bulb to the battery. A. Wire. B. Source. C. Open circuit. D. Bulb. What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter A. Wire. Number 4. It used to open and close circuit. A. Switch B. Source C. Circuit D. Bulb What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter A. Switch And number 5, it is a complete path of electricity. A. Closed circuit B. Switch C. Circuit D. Open circuit What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter A, closed circuit. Remember, in open circuit, there is a gap or no complete path from one end of the circuit to the other end. In closed circuit, it makes the bulb light up because the path of electricity is complete. So kids, do you understand our lesson today? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!